Are you tired of spraying liquid fertilizers out in your yard with hose-in sprayers just like this one? Well, guess what? I got two great affordable DIYer backpack sprayer options right here for you. And what we're going to do next, we're going to go into the pros and cons about both of these options and we'll show you which one would be best for you. So let's get started. So like I was saying earlier, if you're tired of the hose end sprayers and looking for a DIYer friendly backpack sprayer that's affordable, I have two great options here for you. Over here, we have the My Four Sons. It's a four gallon backpack sprayer. It's retailed right now on their website for 220. That is the basic model. They do have different tiers uh, with different accessories that will make it more expensive. Um, it is free shipping on this model at 220. Then over here, we have a four gallon sprayer by Spraymate. It is listed right now on their website at $149.99 plus shipping. I did the calculation if they had shipped it to my house, it would cost around $17 to $20 to ship it to my house. That So like I said, it's not free shipping on this model, but it's around, I would say, to my area in New Jersey, it was about $17 to $20. So both these companies did send out the sprayers to me to use. I've been using them for a while now. Um, I do have some pros and I have some cons with both of these backpack sprayers. Um, but what's really great like a, for a backpack sprayer is you fill everything up in your tank here. There's four gallon tanks. So roughly about a gallon equals about a thousand square feet to spray out on your lawn. So obviously four gallons, you can get about 4,000 square footage of a area to spray out. Um, so what I'm gonna do in a little bit is I'm gonna fill these up just with water today. I don't wanna spray anything out on my lawn today as I'm trying to prepare for the fall overseed but I wanna give you guys an idea of how powerful it is to spray these out in your yard. So my go-to choice to spray out in these backpack sprayers is the Spoon Juice right here by Yard Mastery. I will leave a link below for the Yard Mastery link to the Spoon Juice. Essentially what their Spoon Juice is, is their RGS and the Humic 12 combined together in one bottle, which is really great. You don't have to buy two separate bottles, it's all combined in this one container right here this is the one gallon jug um, so I really love spraying these out in either one of these sprayers it sprays really well out in the yard so as far as charging both of these they charge very differently the spray mate over here actually has a battery it almost looks like a DeWalt battery um, what's really great about this is you just take it out of the back here out of the back compartment and then all you have to do is you hook your cord right to this and it can just stand alone almost like you would charge a DeWalt battery then you would take it off its charger and then all you have to do and slip it off the back and just snap it in and you close the compartment here and you're good to go the my four sons is a little bit different there is a battery that goes in the back here um, it's a pretty heavy battery actually um, but they give you this cord here and it basically all it does is it has a little chamber right here and you have to plug this into the chamber and then from there you're gonna have to plug this into the wall so one of the pros to this sprayer per se the my four sons is you can take that battery out and you can charge it up against the wall but this you have to have it at least a good distance to your wall or your outlet wherever you're charging it so that's a little bit of a con for the charger here as opposed to the spray mate over here i turned around the backpack sprayers now just to show you the straps uh, both i would say are pretty similar in thickness um, they both have the clips that go across the middle here so you can you can clip it across your chest uh, both of them do have that ability of clipping it across your chest. Um, the, the spray mate here has two different spots. You can hang the top here. You can either put it up here at the top or you can put it down here at the back. Um, the top part here of the strap, I find it be better down here. It kind of sits on your back a little bit better. Um, and again here, this is the My Four Sons. It kind of has it at the top where the handle's at. But I would say both of them are very comfortable to wear. Um, but just remember when you do fill these up, it is a lot of weight um, in, in them. So it does take a little bit of time to get used to having this on your back as opposed to having the hose ends where you're just dragging your hose out and you're spraying it in your yard. Um, so there definitely is a convenience to these being on your back as opposed to having this hose and doing your hose management out in your yard. So there definitely are pros and cons to both of them being on your back as opposed to having the hose out in your yard. So as far as the PSI goes for both of them, they have a low of a 40 PSI and a max pressure of 60 PSI. Um, they both work very differently on how that you can have those different PSIs come out. With the spray mate here, you just have a, a low here and you have a high setting. 
and then you just click it to put it in the middle to turn off the machine so it's not pressurizing. And then over here, with the My Four Sons, you have a basically an on switch here, and then you have a dial down here that you turn up, and you can turn it all the way down. I usually just turn it all the way to the max. Um, that's the setting that I like on these um, because I just want it to be pre-pressurized, you know, quickly so you can continue continue spraying your liquid out in your yard. Um, so don't really have any pros or cons but they both work very well um, like I said most of the time I'm leaving these on the higher pressure anyway because I want the most amount of pressure I can to spray out my liquids in my yard so the biggest difference here with the wands are the spray mate here is actually a carbon fiber wand and the my four sons is a stainless steel wand I would say they perform pretty much the same um, the stainless steel It'll probably probably last you probably a little bit longer than the carbon fiber but I this is a very it's made very nice the carbon fiber it's you can feel it's it's pretty strong and sturdy and as far as their handles go for when you actually spray these out in your yard um, I would say they're pretty much the same they're just your basic wands um, you have fittings here at the bottom that connect to your PVC hoses here the my four sons is about or not the my four sons with the spray mate here it's about a five foot length uh, hose um, and then down here it's a little bit longer of a hose I would say it's probably about probably six feet um, but both of both of that both of the uh, hoses here they perform very well I haven't had any clogs major clogs in it um, as long as you're using the filters in the bottom of the tanks um, you shouldn't have any major clogs in these hoses so what's really great about these two sprayers are they come out pretty much fully assembled out of the box uh, the my four sons one of the things you have to do is put the straps on here you'll have to put the wand connector up here um, the battery you have to definitely put that into your battery compartment down there um, which is pretty easy to do i think anybody can pretty much do that and then you have to just assemble the hoses pretty basic stuff when you get these backpack sprayers um, same thing over here to spray me the hose actually came actually attached to the uh, backpack sprayer here um, obviously you have to put the straps on here um, the only knock that I will give Spraymate is the, the wand holder. Um, it was a little bit difficult to put together. You really need a really tight um, a socket wrench or a, type of, a small type of wrench to put these together. I wish these came already pre-assembled. But other than that, um, everything pretty much comes together. Obviously, you have to attach the wand to the hose here on both of them. But other than that, everything is pretty easy to put together out of the box. So now for a little bit closer view of the Spraymate here. Here's your four gallon tank. They have little indentations here to show you where your four gallon marks are. Um, uh, one thing I wish that they did was is highlight these a little bit better because once this gets maybe a little bit dirty, I feel like it might be a little bit hard to see, but maybe if you got a Sharpie and just mark these off, these little indentations here, you might be able to see this a little bit better. But you have your lid here at the top, just screw unscrews very easily. You have a little filter tray at the top here that can come out and then inside the tank you see at the bottom that black uh, little uh, spout down there that is your suction hose down there that pulls the liquid through you want to make sure that the that it's pointing downward um, there is a filter on that suction hose down there um, that's what you know filters out any you know large objects or any kind of flakes that might be in your liquid irons your you know your liquid fertilizer so you want to make sure that that black part down there is facing downward so that the filter is down as opposed to up so you drain this completely when you spray this out so here's the my four sons up close down here is your battery compartment you have a voltage meter down here as well um, over here you have your hose connections this is the one connection that you'll have to make to this part here when you first get your my four sons backpack sprayer then you have your gallons marked here all the way up to four gallon i feel like with both of these backpack sprayers you can definitely fill these probably a little bit more than four gallons if you really wanted to but the one knock i'll give them the my four sons is this is almost like a sticker that's actually on the back here so for some reason this ever peeled off, there's no niches, there's no markings, you know, indents in the sprayer itself where you're gonna know where this four gallon, three gallon, you know, one gallon marks are. So one thing I would suggest is if you do get this sprayer is to get a spray, you know, get a Sharpie out there like I suggested earlier and mark these off. For some reason this does peel off, you'll still know where your markings are. Then up here you have your lid. It does come with a 
a uh, filter at the top here, a tray. I don't have it in there at, at the time now, but at the bottom there, that's a filter down there as well, which you want to definitely leave in because it's going to filter out any flakes, like I said er earlier, with some like you know liquid iron if you're going to use or any other kind of fertilizers. Um, so definitely leave that filter in there so it will drain you know completely down when you spray out your liquids out of the my four suns so both these models do come with some accessories the spray mate comes with two different tips that you can use um, i actually have the one tip on here right now but i have a t-jet connector on here which is really great if you do like the t-jets i'll leave a picture right here of what it looks like up close um, i like the t-jets because they're this one especially i got it from sprayerdepot.com uh, this one's a stainless steel one it's really nice um, I've been using this for most of the year now. These uh, stainless steel ones, uh, they're really easy to clean out. Um, but what's really great about the Spray Mate is that it does accept the T-Jet, so you don't have to get any added accessories. You just want to make sure you have the washer on there that, so there's no you know leakage here at the tip here. Um, but that's what I have on the Spray Mate here. It also comes with two other, like I said, two other nozzles if you would like. I think it's a fan tip as well uh, nozzle and then a, another one that's like adjustable as a strong stream and a, a short stream. Um, I didn't use any of those because I just I like the T-Jet more, um, but that's what they look like. I'll leave a picture right here of what the accessories look like for the spray mate. And then again, the uh, My Four Sons comes with accessories as well. I'll leave a picture right here. As you can see, this is what comes with the My Four Sons. But again, I like using the T-Jet, the flood jet nozzles. They come, you know, it has the thicker uh, liquid droplets that come out of the T-Jet uh, nozzles. Um, and again, what's really great is the My Four Sons, this uh, adapter here will fit the T-Jet nozzles. You just want to, again, make sure you have your proper washers in there so there's no leakage at the top here. Um, again, I'll leave all product links to the T-Jet um, nozzles that I use here below. So if you want to go check them out on sprayerdepot.com, I think it's about like 10 bucks for one of these nozzles. But again, they're stainless steel, easy to clean. It's going to last you a long time and I haven't had any complaints about them so far. So what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna fill these up with about two gallons of water each. I'm gonna spray them out in my street over here just to give you an idea of how strong they can spray at that 60 PSI mark that they have in both of these. Uh, and just give you an idea of how big the span is as well when they spray out of the T-Jet nozzles as well. So as you can see, I got the spray mate on my back now. As you can see, it sits pretty nice and flush on my back. It kind of sits in the crest of your back right back there. It's nice and comfortable. The wand, it's not too long, um, it, which is great. So when you have it down at your knee height here and you're spraying, um, it's not dangling too much, which is really great. I only got two gallons in there right now, but it feels very comfortable on my back. It's not too heavy, it's not weighing me down. It's gonna be easy to spray. So what I'm gonna do next is with the spray mate, I'm gonna do one pass up here just to show you the length. I let you listen to it, how it pressurizes and it sprays out. Again, I have the T-Jet nozzle on here. This is the flood jet nozzle, which means it give, puts out uh, thicker uh, liquid uh, liquid droplets. So it's great for applications where you need your liquid fertilizer to get down into the soil area as, a, as opposed to on the leaf blade itself. Um, that's what I really like about these. I mostly spray out liquids that require these kind of nozzles. So like I said, I'm gonna do one pass up here just to give you an idea of how strong it is and the sound of it and how wide the uh, spray path is with the T-Jet nozzle on the spray mate. So that's a spray mate here. As you can see, it has pretty good constant pressure, I would say, as it's coming out. Uh, you don't really see a dip in the PSI at much when you're spraying it out, uh, which is really great. That's what's really key about these backpack sprayers. You want to make sure you have a constant pressure so as you can see here the spray mate has a really great pressure uh, no leaks at the tip here um, which is really great you don't want to get any of that liquid leaking out and you're you know you're not you don't you're losing money essentially if it's leaking out but very strong uh, no complaints so far with the spray mate um, so this is a great backpack sprayer for you guys at home for the DIYers um, now I'm gonna go get the my four sons I'm gonna show you how that sprays and then we'll talk about the comparisons between the two and we'll finish up the video. So now I have the My Four Sons here. As you can see, it sits on my back just like the Spray Mate very comfortably. This hose is definitely a little bit longer than the Spray Mate, but still it's not dangling too much, you know, down when you're, you know, spraying it out in your yard. So that's great here. Again, I have the T-Jet nozzle on here, the Flood Jet one. 
I have two gallons in the, in the back here and filled up of just water. One of the recommendations that I do recommend is when you do get these backpack sprayers is to fill them all the way up, get used to spraying them out in your yard, spray out your whole yard so you get adjust to your walking pace so you're not losing any liquid, you're not spraying too much in one spot so you get an even spray. So definitely fill these up with water first, get comfortable with spraying them just water out so you don't waste any product. I do highly recommend you do that first, fill them up with water. So the My Four Sons is definitely heavier with just two gallons of water in here. And I really do feel that, I really believe that it has to do with that battery pack back here, that lower uh, compartment right here. The battery is definitely heavier as opposed to the spray mate where I compared it to like say a DeWalt battery for your power drill. Um, so it definitely is a little bit heavier. So what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna spray it out again. I'm gonna do one pass up to the camera and then I'm gonna do a couple like I did with the spray mate on the side here and then I'll talk about the pressure with it. So as you can see, I just did a couple passes for you to, to demonstrate what it looks like as it's spraying out. Um, I, the one of the knocks that I will give this, and I'm gonna turn it on now, is I do feel like it's a little bit less stronger at the 60 PSI with the more My Four Sons as opposed to the Spray Mate. Um, it's still a pretty constant stream. It's not, you know, the pressure isn't dropping and trying to get back up to that 60 PSI. Um, it is a pretty constant stream. And again, there's no leaks here at the top, which is great with the T-Jet. You don't want to have any leaks. You don't want to waste any liquid fertilizer when you're spraying it out in the yard. The droplets are nice and big, um, which is great for you know applications like RGS and Humic 12, which you know want to get down into the soil as opposed to on the leaf blade when you do like a liquid iron application where you want that to sit on the leaf blade. But again, there's no leaks. I would just say the only knock, I do see that the pressure is a little bit less. But again, it's not dropping pressure a ton and raising it back up. It's a pretty constant stream, which is great. And that's a big key for backpack sprayers. So I just want to wrap things up now and then talk about some of the pros and the cons again. Again, I feel like the My Four Sons, it's a little bit heavier in weight when it's filled up as opposed to the Spray Mate. Um, I feel like that the battery, it makes a big difference being that little bit sm you know, smaller of a battery as opposed to the My Four Sons, which is a little bit heavier of a battery in that bottom base uh, there. But again, I feel like both of these sprayers, you can't go wrong with them. Again, you have pros, you have cons. You have a stainless steel wand with the My Four Sons. You have the carbon fiber with the Spray Mate. Again, which is great, they both can accept the T-Jet nozzles. You don't need any extra you know, fittings or anything like that. Again, the My Four Sons right now, it retails for $220. That's free shipping. And the uh, Spray Mate here retails for $149.99 plus shipping. Like I said earlier, if I calculate it, uh, to my area it was about 17 to 20 dollars with shipping uh, that's shipping cost but again i feel like these are great both either one you can't go wrong i think they're gr both great DIYer backpack sprayers um so if you want to experiment a little bit and you've never you know sprayed liquid fertilizer with a backpack sprayer i don't i think either one of these you can't go wrong with them so again i'll leave product links below to their websites and to both of these sprayers uh specifically so go ahead go check out those uh those product links uh, let me know what you think of them leave some comments below if you have them if i missed out on anything leave comments below if any if you have any questions or concerns on a, about either one of these backpack sprayers also comment below and i'll help you guys out so make sure you check out those product links below right now i'm sure the stock level is really high but as we all know it's early august the fall overseed is approaching so these stock levels are definitely going to go down so if you're interested in getting into the backpack spray area and getting out of the hose end spray make sure you check out those product links and also if you found today's video helpful make sure you smash that like button it helps out with the youtube algorithm it helps out with the channel so people can find this video and can find my channel and also if you're interested in what kind of grass seed that i'm going to be using for my fall overseed this year check out this video right here and also make sure you hit that subscribe button right here so you don't miss out on future content and i'll see you in the next one